that exit on them. Gotta blame my faith, cause these odds ain't got nothing on them. I secured the safe for the credit. Exception ain't no truce, uh. ain't, no truce. ain't no dub, ain't no L on my coupe. Ooh. Only when it gets exception on my coupe. Yeah. Ay. Ain't no dub, ain't no L. I use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay. Yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay. Chest coming in like a pair of Nikes. If I like it, then you know I'm finna get it. Get the bag and then I flip it. Watch me do it. All the mall, my wrist going stupid. Tryna put them on, but they never do it. Just like all the way to minute, like don't make sense to really get it. I'm steady getting to the chicken. That cheeky finger lick a chicken. I mean, I'm getting to the good drop. Keep a rack in my socks. Diamonds cost me a lot. Nike check up all of my socks. Hey yo, Nike check. T shirt check. Sneakers, check. Socks, check. Hoodie, check. Shorts, check. Nike, check. I done made about a million and I'm only 19. Uh, I see water dripping on a white tee. And Shelly got a man, but she's saying wife me. I got chest coming in like a pair of Nikes. If I like it, then you know I'm finna get it. Get the bag and then I flip it, watch me do it. All the mall, my wrist going stupid. Trying to put them on, but they never do it. I 
Lucky stripes said it's all right. Then I cut her off. Shorty stepped on my off whites. Okay, now wait, wait, wait. Gotta get the bag and racks every day. Don't tell me to relax, I can't. I'm saying, gotta hit press those in the J's and away. Gotta hit wrist boss with it. Don't take time. I go up on a hop if it's up too hot. And you wanna play ball, hit a three point shot. Well, this my court, got a block on lock. I done made it by the million and I'm only 19. Uh, I see water dripping on a white tee. And Shorty got a man, but she's saying, wife me. I got chess coming in like a pair of Nike. If I like it, then you know I'm finna get it. Just do it. Get the bag and then I flip it. Watch me do it. Just do it. Put them all on my wrist, going stupid. Just do it. Tryna put them on, but they never do it. They like all the way to me, they like don't make sense to really get it. I'm steady getting to the chicken. That tasty finger licking chicken. I mean, I'm getting to the good guap. Keep a rack in my socks. Diamonds cost me a lot. Nike check up all of my socks. Hey. Hey, yo. Nike check. <laughs> to match up with the Detroit Lions. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. This is Aaron Jones, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels, because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh?
Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Oh, yeah, good job, good job. Eight yards will keep this drive rolling. That was just a good example of taking what the defense gave him. No one opened downfield, knew where his safety valve was, swung it out to him. He gets upfield and picks up the first down. Well done all the way around. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. He's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. And nine yards to go. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And yeah, that one's going to be knocked away. And incomplete. Will Harris there to make the play. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. That'll be a 47-yard punt officially, five on the return. And the Lions will take over. At their own 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. carry for the former Falcon. Tevin Coleman stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. for the first time with DeAndre Swift. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. He was tackled at the 27-yard line. A game of four. And it's third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. We ought to come up with a t-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Here's Swift. He stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Heavy set out there on third and one. Now a carry for Swift. Oh, he is 
is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They do go for it. It's Kaepernick. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And he's got Rome. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. When you talk about the fastest running backs in the NFL, Tevin Coleman has to at least be in the conversation, and he showed off the wheels there. Wow. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He can see the play developing right in front of him, and once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, he's just going to keep right on going. And his top speed, as computed by Next Gen Stats, not bad. He was pushing 20 miles an hour. They fake the give. Now Kaepernick. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll pull it down. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion, or even worse, an interception. From the 25, here's second and six. They run out of the gun with Swift. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A gain of 13, it's a first down. A gain of 13. Now it's Swift. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Ten more there and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. From the two, here's first and goal. They'll run with Swift. And he takes this one in for the Lions. Touchdown. DeAndre Swift, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first step. Touchdown! Packers. Aaron Jones, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. You think about the great running backs in the game today. I don't know if Aaron Jones is a name that comes immediately to mind, but it should, evidenced by that run there. I think defensively, when you look at a play like that, that's when everyone looks at their teammates and starts shaking their heads a little bit because now you're wondering, what are we in for? Worked all week to try and limit the big play ability that he possesses. 
and he winds up taking one to the house in the very first quarter. That was a tremendous run. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. offense ready to kick off their next drive and now last drive so successful with the ground game ending in a touchdown do you stick with that formula that would be the number one thing you would think of but so many guys now would look at it and say we've got them set up so well for play action now's the time to take a shot yeah but you know there was a big time coach in the state of ohio who once said <laughs> if you throw the ball if you put it in the air Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> on second down, Swift. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Now a first down carry by Jones. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. The last run got six. Now second and four. Now Jones. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions' 20-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So many times someone's success is the product of a lot of things coming together really well. And for Aaron Jones in 2019, it all came together for him. He stayed healthy, was on the field for all 16 games, got handed the ball 100 more times last year, and as an end result, Broke a thousand yards in a season rushing for the first time in his career. Two yards on the pickup. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. scrimmage and he goes down right there officially no gain on the play and they're left with a third and eight it's now third and eight for the lions an extra db in the game now here on third down on play action, now Rodgers, buying time to his left. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And the 13-year man puts it through, and the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. 
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And on that last drive, Whitford on fourth turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense had got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The Lions on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Working from the gun. It's Kaepernick. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And into the end zone. It's a pick six. Yeah, yeah, we dominate today. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. It's good to make it 17-7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Second and six, just inside the 30. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Here we go on fourth down with Kaepernick. He finds Coleman. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Detroit. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Play action. Now Kaepernick escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. 
And a throw right sideline here is complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Boy, that was pretty. Sidestepping defenders on his way to a pickup of nine yards. Brings up second and a yard at the Packers' 16-yard line. On second down now, it's Coleman. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing now is Kaepernick. On the screen, this is Coleman. That catch good for only a couple. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions have got it back to a one-score game. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. Packers 17, Lions 14. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. shotgun it's Jones he finds an opening past the 40 the 40 the 30 10 touchdown Packers. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half and the Packers are able to strike quickly for six the CD I mean there are touchdown runs and then there are touchdown runs and that one certainly fell into the latter category. Now that deserves a couple exclamation points. And that's a second touchdown run of this game. And this one and a high degree of difficulty to it as well. I'm absolutely marveling at how effortless he makes this look. I mean, let's face it, he had a long way to go. But how about the vision, the creativity with the football in his hands? It's really something to watch. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. On 
First and ten. Here's Kaepernick. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Detroit. To back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Open man, he's got him the tight end Hawkinson. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard line. Out of bounds at the 23 yard line. A gain of nine brings up second and one. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Again, it's Kaepernick. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Bullock will put this one through. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. Lane opens here. He's past the 30. To see a knee, and that's it. And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now this one is running back out of the backfield. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. To throw Kaepernick flushed out right and he can't get rid of it he's taken down oh my goodness was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back you're, you're all smiles up here oh everybody can hear my smile on that play taking it about the 16 so a good punt but a solid 12 yard return and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They were able to get the ball back here. Didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Second and nine. 
They'll go again to Jones. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first down, Jones. Trey Flowers there on the tackle. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. there on the third down play we're able to convert on that rpo shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap doesn't it because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go and he did on that play they'll run on first down it's jones and he gets this inside the 35 yard line it's a gain of 12 and the packers have the first and this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to the huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now the rookie's second-round pick. It's A.J. Dillon with it. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A.J. Dillon with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. And the lead will grow by one more. That is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. At their own 18-yard line. I told you, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. offense ready to kick off their next drive and with this deficit you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away you know what i would tell my offense right here 
Carter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen. There's something that there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Kaepernick now on first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. And he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Eluding the pressure right. Got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Now Kaepernick again. The throw to the left side. Caught by Coleman. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Three yards the game there, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. There he goes, right side. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and another touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they... Good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, it didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. On play action, it's Camperton. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Rashawn Gary, he's the culprit, dropping him for a two-yard loss. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Kaepernick going to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. First down, Lion. Kaepernick now on first down. Looking for Perriman there. He's got him. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. It's a gain of 34. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. That false start knocks him back behind the 10 now as they'll try again first and goal. 
Again, they'll throw with Kaepernick. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. From 13 yards out. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. to the ground this time with Jones able to push his way through oh what a juke into space and he's going to take it in touchdown Packers Aaron Jones with touchdown number three in the game and six on the year and the Packers add on to their lead so there, Charles, I mean, a situation where it didn't matter how far he had to run, he was not going to be denied, and he winds up taking this all the way to the end zone. And they've got little to no success stopping him on the ground all game long because that's his third touchdown of the game, and by far the best touchdown of the bunch. They came in this game knowing that they needed to rely on him, and the defense knew they needed to slow him down, yet he's delivered in a big way, and he's been sensational. Taken about seven yards deep. The Lions take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. To throw is Kaepernick. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. And the Lions on play action. It's Kaepernick rolling to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Kaepernick was looking to throw, but then it became decision time. And when he saw they had room to run, he made the right decision to pull it down there, and he winds up picking up the first down. Forced out to his left. He'll try and run it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. They'll try and run here with Swift. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift, his third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. And this one through the uprights and good. Packers 45, Lions 
31. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Again, it's Jones. This will be a Packers first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. the first as well. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to attack those master you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. First and 10 at the 21 yard line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. On first down, Jones. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On third down, here's Jones. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll go with Jones. And he will get this untamed super touchdown, Green Bay. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Packers add six to their lead. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> head coach, he wants them to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Throw left side complete. That's Coleman. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. Here's Kaepernick to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let it fly. He's got it at the 15. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 33 yards that time. 
Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Into the red zone now. Kaepernick dancing to his left. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Tyrell Williams was the intended target. And it's second down. Kaepernick to throw again. That's complete right around the eight. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. Looking for Hawkinson, and he's got him. Touchdown, Detroit. T.J. Hawkinson. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out yeah, against the yeah. run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 about set to get this drive started the Green Bay offense at the line and this one all over but the shouting you might say now there's one timeout remaining defensively but now look out Rodgers lost the football and the Lions have recovered a big offensive explosion of leading them to victory. And the defensive guys are just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Green Bay, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale to take on the Cardinals. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. Your pugs in a time you create where there ain't no love. Where do I go?